Green Rays and Rangers, Kevin with the Blue Jays, and JT Kobayashi, Nationals. Good luck. All right, like I said, we probably won't be doing this double case again. I'll see what stock we have, but we will at least have some eminent mixers throughout the weekend for you guys. We do have more eminent. We'll probably just use, utilize most of it in mixers of what we have left. All right, let's open this up. <clears throat> All right, let's go with the first case. I'll just leave it open like this. Good luck. Heck no, I haven't seen one. But uh, apparently there's only six copies of that autograph, right? There's only six. There's only the number to five, and there's only a 101. That's why we haven't seen one because it's, uh, you know, everybody else has like a, a 99, a, a, what, a 50, a 25, and a five. Shohei only has a number to five, and he only has a 101. First auto. Masataka Yoshida, Red Sox. That's the green parallel, Masataka. All right, Red Sox is uh, SH02. Masataka Yoshida. Beautiful jumbo slab, 14 of 99. Red Sox, 14 of 99. Boston. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be interesting what they do with next year's, or the next version that they come out with Eminent. They're probably gonna make a lot more bigger checklists, but it's still probably be a pretty nice uh, product. You know what? Um, they're probably gonna come out with another one soon too. I I would say within the next like four months or so probably, because they seen how popular this one was. Matt Olson for the Atlanta Braves, and that looks like a gold ATL. Matt Olson, Atlanta Braves. Joe with the Braves, 43 out of 50 gold, Matt Olson. Yeah, you could put up a whole, you could make a whole man cave wall with these for sure. You're welcome, Joe. <clears throat> ITL, shorty. All right, next up, Mike Yerzemski for the San Francisco Giants. And that's a orange parallel. So it should be number 25, orange. San Fran B. Patterson, Bob. Oh, that's a value team module, too. Good price on him. My guess for the Giants. That's number 21 of 25. That one's like shifting. Try to get this back in. That's the thing about these ones, huh? They like to shift sometimes. <laughs> these giant freaking one touches. Okay. All right. Okay. Twenty-five. Paul. Goldsmith, last team mojo. Green. St. Louis. 
Congrats, Cardinals. As I thought they would. Cardinals contact. 28 of 99. Green parallel of Cody. You think he moving to Seattle? Fernando Tatis, congrats Padres, Fernando Tatis. That one's like way to the right of the slab too. That's going to be, you're welcome, Andy. Padres, Henry U. Baseball, 4 of 99 on the Tatis. Adley Rush, Baltimore. We got the Orioles. Eugene. Congrats on your Adley Rushman Green. And that is 81 of 99, Adley Rushman. Baltimore. <laughs> if Eugene's in the chat room, maybe he'll sell it to you. Allie Rushman. Two o'clock in the morning. Probably not that many of us on. Rushman. Still can't believe Doug and Dan hit the one of one of Judge. That was crazy. Preview box even before Eminent actually officially came out. <laughs> Ozzy Smith, you guessed it. St. Louis. Don't sleep. They were a hundred dollars off from what they sold from yesterday. I tried told him. I tried told him, Joe. I try told him nobody ever listens to C Rad. Sixty and oh you guys listen to me sometimes. Not only did they hit, they hit in the same case. Twice. Gotta play the odds, man. One of the only few teams that has four guys on the checklist. All right, let's see. Another Masataka. So I can speak of the doubling up Boston. SH Masataka Yoshida. That's a gold. Yoshida gold. Red Sox. This one's six out of 50. Masataka Yoshida. Next thing, you know what, Fanatics, they got to figure out, dude. The same product just like this, same thing, in a one-touch, 
but let's start having patches. Like, what about jumbo patches? You guys remember that product from years ago that Upper Deck did? They found a way through the NBA loophole in being able to use a license because they were on like the um, eight, almost like eight by seven slabs too. I put a sick Michael Jordan patch auto out of that product. That was one of the biggest hits. Cal Ripken, Baltimore Red, number to five for the Orioles. <whistles> it was called um, su some su Upper Deck uh, Supreme Hardcourt, I think, or something like that. I'll send you a picture of the Jordan I pulled. It's pretty sick. Cal Ripken. Four or five. It came out when I believe I think it came out when Ben Simmons was a rookie. I'm pretty sure it was Ben Simmons rookie year. So you know how Panini has the NBA license. I guess if you don't if you make a product that's not like a, a regular size card, because obviously they have the license to make cards, NBA cards. If you make it like oversized you can actually make an NBA licensed product, but it's if, if it's oversized. Wonder why Upper Deck never went back to the well on that one. Maybe because Panini did try to sue them. I don't know. Supreme Hard Court. Joe, look it up. It was sick. You get Michael Jordan autos and everything with patches. There was other big names on there too, obviously. Like Allen Iverson. Dansby Swanson will close out the first case for the Cubs. Dansby Swanson. Fun machine with the Cubs. Swanson. Five of ninety nine, Dansby Swanson. All right, that was the first case. Let's get into the second one. Good luck. <laughs> Damn, Michael Jordan was trying to hit on your lady, huh? Sheesh. Freaking MJ. All right, ready? Case number two. Masataki Yoshida. Damn, what the heck? Is this the main guy that's in the product? Masataki Yoshida Green. Red Sox. 85 of 99.
Have you seen a lot of Yoshidas in the breaks that you've uh, seen on other breakers and stuff, Joe? A lot of Yoshidas? I'm guessing he's like one of the regular guys that people see a lot. And another Paul Goldsmith, St. Louis. I try to told him. I try to told him. Thirty of ninety-nine. So he's like the most common guy. Oh yeah, Chisholm, I bet. Yeah, Chisholm sounds like a guy would he would be in this product a lot. Pablo Lopez for the twins. That's one I haven't seen a lot of. Pablo Lopez. Minnesota Twins B Patterson. Twin Cities. Pablo Lopez. Sixty nine of ninety nine. Minnesota. Yeah, let's see a Shohei for Steven. Steven has the Angels in this one. Steven was actually the one that told me that Shohei only has six autos in the entire product run. So you're so you're telling me there's a chance. <laughs> the 101, nice. I think Bubba pulled the number to five red of Bryce. I Carlton Fisk, Boston Red Sox. Can't stop on the Red Sox too. S H O two. Carlton Fisk. Damn. Three of ninety <laughs> how did how did floyd and how did lloyd and harry think they were going to pay back those ious what, what do you think how do you think they thought they were going to pay those back You know what I just watched recently? The sequel. So I think I've only I've only watched the sequel. To, I'm and I'm talking about the real sequel with actual uh, Jim Carrey. Um, I watched that sequel. I've only watched that sequel once, probably when it first came out in the theater, and I haven't watched it since. Uh, it's actually not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not as bad as I thought. Or I remember it being. But obviously, I mean, obviously, it, nothing ever. No comedy will ever top the first original one. Boom. Sorry, Steven. I only got you a orange trout. Only. Mikel Jordan. It's on uh it's on Netflix. That's how I watched it. Dumb and Dumber 2. Now the prequel, we don't even we don't even have to talk about the prequel. The one with the younger kids, that one is just that that one just was not even close to anything actually being similar to the original movie. That one was way off. Matter of fact, they like you know, they comp they they flipped the characters. They made you know, you know what I mean. They made one of them borderline. You know what I mean.
Yeah. The the prequel is terrible. Never you never I never need to watch that one ever again. But the sequel, the actual sequel with Jim Carrey, they did their best. They did their best to try to recreate the original. All right, here we go. Spencer Torkelson Orange for the Tigers. Detroit. Bakuya. No, I didn't hear that. I never really looked into like the casting, like the background of the casting or anything like that. I just know I watched that movie probably a million times since I was young. No joke. Seriously, 200K to Jim Carrey's 20 million? Jesus. That's a discrepancy. Let's go, oh, Jazz Chisholm. That's you. You spoke him into existence, Furhan. <laughs> That's a value team mojo, though. Twenty nine dollar Marlins value team mojo. Jazz Chisholm. Seventeen of ninety nine for Florida. The Florida Marlins. Sunny, no D backs yet, unfortunately. Three more boxes, though. I know, dude. Perfect, Harry. Your break credit is intact so far. <clears throat> Here we go. Box number, case number two. Box number eight. Dansby Swanson, another double up for the Chicago Cubby spot. Swanson number two, that's another green. Swanson. 29 of 99 for the Cubs. Dansby Swanson. Box number nine. Good luck, everybody. Box nine. Max Freed. Speaking of Braves, you caught it. Max Freed Gold. Probably not the old school brave you wanted, but 22 out of 50 on the gold. Congrats, Joe. Max Fried. All right, last box of the break. Good luck. Again, we will have more eminent throughout this weekend. Uh, we might not be doing another double case, but we'll have at least Eminent with some uh, um, other mixers. Greg is doing a 15-box mixer with Archives tomorrow with five boxes of Eminent. Check that out. I just actually posted another one of those mixers for the weekend, and we'll have more Eminent, too, this weekend. Um, I'll probably do some standalones. We'll see. We'll see what the um, our stock is looking like by the weekend. No Nemo, no whammy. Good luck. Here we go. Last box of the break. Last hit, last box. We're going to close it out. Let me do the sparkle. Hunter Green Gold, Cincinnati Reds. Coach George Scott will get the last hit. 
Hunter Green Gold Refractor for the Cincinnati Reds. 31 out of 50 Cincinnati. Hunter Green. All right, that is it, everybody. Our double case 20 box 2024 Fanatics Under Wraps Eminent Baseball 20 box case. Pick your team number two. Closing out the night for Wednesday, June 12, 2024. That was the last break. Congrats to all the teams that got a nice hit. Appreciate it, Joe, joining the breaks tonight. Um, I'll send you that site credit right now as soon as I sign off. All right, but that's it, everybody. Um, we'll have more Eminent tomorrow and throughout the weekend. Limited stock of Eminent. So if you guys like Eminent, and it seems like a lot of people do, get in where you can. We're probably going to be out again after by the end of the weekend. So appreciate everybody. Good night. I will see you. To, um, actually, you won't see me tomorrow. So um, as you guys know, I'm not on every Thursdays anymore. It's going to be the new guy that I was training, Griffin, breaking on Thursday nights now. Uh, Greg will be breaking tomorrow for you guys tomorrow morning. And I'll actually be li live back again on Friday afternoon friday night like normal uh brand new optic basketball releases on friday and i'll be doing that pretty much all friday all right and we'll have more eminent too this weekend good night everybody peace appreciate it good night joe thanks for hanging out keeping me entertained in the room as always i'll see y'all later Let me send that out to you right now, actually. Joe, 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 Joe. One folder nine.